Hi guys, it's Brenda Sue and I'm back down here in the messy workshop today to share a whole bunch of things with you. I've been working on so many new ideas and on the Facebook page too, so many of you have been giving me great new ideas that I hardly know where to start. So we're just going to kind of go with it and see what happens. But in this video, we're going to kind of talk about some glue tips and tricks, jewelry making tips that... Um, some of you have mentioned on the Facebook page that I think would be really good to show you what I do and then you take it from there and improve on it as I know you will. And also we're going to talk about making rings too. I've made a couple of cool rings. For example, um, this one I'm going to put on my finger. I don't know if you can see that. It spins. It's a propeller we embedded in resin in a bezel and we stuck it on a ring shank. And I'm going to show you how to put a ring together, real simple. Um, we're going to take E6000 and put Perlex in it and make it like colored solder. It might even take us down a whole new road and a whole new journey. So come on over here and let me show you how I do it. So anyway, you might wonder what this mess is. This is actually E6000 and Perlex, super bronze pigment mixed together so that I can uh, kind of make it look like I soldered my ring shank onto my bezel. And this is what I did in here. I don't know if you can see. I used a rose ox ring shank because I'm going for a mixed metals look here. I've got brass ox, I've got rose ox, I've got silverware. And I mixed it up. Look, it's almost the same color as the rose ox. And it's in here and it's glued on there. And we applied the, and it's, this is on to stay, folks. It's not coming off. There was a little bit of cleanup, which you do with this product. Goo Gone, get it at Walmart. Very easy to find. And a swab. As you can see, there's the evidence that I cleaned it up. And I might do a little bit more yet. But anyway, that's how I did it. I just poured a little bit of ice resin. There's an image in there. There's a watch cog. And then I put one of our silverware plated propellers. And it spins. How cool is that? And here I am wearing it. Oh, it's upside down. I like it this way. Is that fun or what? And it's just nothing to it. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to mix up the E6000 and the Pearl X. And then this way, um, you will be ready to do it. And we're going to do one together also. Okay. So I'm just going to take some E6000 out of here and make a blob. And once again, as always, use care and caution when using E6000. It is a toxic subject, substance. Excuse me. It's a toxic substance. Let me say that again. And so you don't want to be breathing this in and messing with it more than you have to. But unfortunately, you want to get a good bond, you got to use it. Okay, so here I am opening my Pearl X. And I'm just going to kind of shake a little bit into there. Um, in fact, I just might take my craft stick and put... Actually, you know what? I should have done silver because I'm going to do a silver ring. But, you know what? We're just playing around here. We're doing mixed metals anyway these days, aren't we? So about that much. You might really not even need that much. That might be overkill. You play with it. You find out. But all I'm going to do is just take this down in here. Look at it. It almost makes it like an epoxy that... You might be able to inlay into something. I don't know. Haven't experimented with that yet, but I'm almost positive it would work. But that's not what we're doing today. We're just going to glue something together, being this ring shank, which is silverware, silver plate. So it would have been better if we'd used this, which is what I meant to use, this macro pearl, which is kind of silvery. Um, but I used the barn, so we'll go with that. Okay, and I'm going to just kind of put this little cute. It's, a, it's actually an Eiffel Tower uh, image that's embedded in resin, ice resin of course. And um, we're going to apply it to the ring. This is like not rocket science guys. You all probably be able to do it better than me. But there you go. You don't want to get too much on there because what will happen is you'll have tremendous amount of cleanup because when you press this onto here, in fact it won't even hurt to get a little bit in the middle of this. So you have a little bit going both ways. It won't hurt it a bit. Okay. Now we're going to press it together. Make sure I got it right side up. Yep. And just kind of slide it on there. 
and see how it's squished out around under there so like after it's set up you might want to clean a little bit of that up. but you want to make sure that you have it set nice and even on there just exactly where you want it to be that looks pretty good but look at see now I've got too much far down to the bottom so I'm going to slide that up a little bit okay so for all intents and purposes you know for demonstration purposes for today this is pretty good so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it down in here and this is called Ballantini these little tiny itty bitty pearls um, other people use other things whatever you have uh, some people put it down in styrofoam um, I just have a lot of Ballantini so I use it and I'm going to put it just like this nice and even down in there so it could be a little bit better in there. and then that will keep it nice until it sets up and I can wear it or sell it to you who knows what we'll do anyway that's how you do it and I've got a lot left over which is a shame so it would be nice like if you were gonna do rings like have a bunch of them ready to go so you don't have to waste your stuff because E6000 isn't that expensive but Pearl X is a little bit uh, pricey. We're going to have it on the website probably in the next 10 days or so. We're going to have it in like little pots of, I don't know, it's like 9 or 12 colors. That's really cool. If you just can't wait till then, I know Hobby Lobby carries it. Hopefully we can beat their price a little bit, but it, we certainly won't be charging anymore. But um, cool, Pearl X. You can mix this in UT also and, and get amazing uh, colors from it. But just put it put it in resin, just all kind of stuff. Okay, now here's another example of a ring that I made actually this morning. Let me get the Ballantini off. I don't have it done yet. I kind of mangled the rivet in the center of it, but that's not going to matter because I'm going to set a stone on there. But you can see how I just made a cluster and glued it on. See? Now when I'm done, when this sets up a little bit better, I might bend this back over the edges because I think it would make it a little bit nicer don't know quite yet. You know, that's just kind of it. You just don't know. Tell me what you think. Write me and tell me. But anyway, once it's on, and then I put a stone in the middle there. Not bad. I got me a cool uh, kind of fashion-y ring, you know. Kind of neat. I colorized the filigree first, you know. If you've watched the colorization um, videos, you know how that goes. But here's some of the filigree, what it looked like, colorized. I think if, this is patina that I did patina on it first and then and then I painted it and sealed it. But anyway, now here's another thing that's kind of neat. You can take um, plaque findings that are about this size and with ring pliers, well not ring pliers, um, bail making pliers such as these, you can bend this so that it becomes this. And I'm not going to do it on camera because with this plating on it, it's a little bit stiff and it's going to take time to get it to bend right. And I'm going to have to hammer it, but you know, you can hammer it on the anvil a little bit. Can't gently now, because this is plated, you kind of get it, you know, where you want it. But, you know, and this little anvil comes in handy too. We have them on the site. Um, but anyway, I've got it so it fits my big finger pretty well now. But I will work on this some more and get it fitted down. There are some other stampings on the site that work real well for this application too. This is one of them. In fact, I think Shelly put it on just today. And there are some others that I'm going to be bringing in. Actually, I have to confess to you, this, stamp, this stamping here, now we buy it already pre-bent, you know, for a ring. But you can buy this flat too and do it yourself. Um, it's kind of nice to get them done already, but this starts out life as a flat filigree. That's all it is. And then it becomes something like this. Yay! So anyway, that's pretty much what I had to tell you about uh, using the Pearl X with E6000. And uh, the cleanup, of course, with Goo, 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 goo Gaunt. Sorry about that. And that's what you can do with that. Now, a couple other things I just wanted to show you that aren't quite the subject, but since I got you here, I'm going to show them to you. This is a really cool thing that Lauren and I figured out together. This finding 
which I'm not sure we have it on the site in Raw Brass or not, but I think we do. But I had some down here. It's just a heart. It's stamped. It's hollow on the back. It's quite a recess in there, don't you think? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bezel? Hmm. Anyway, here's one that I patina in Vertigree. Now, I haven't buffed this out yet, so I have to do that, like you can see in the patina videos. But this one was buffed out. And then we added another little bit of color to it. And then we used this gloss over it just to see what would happen. And we ended up getting this kind of a raku pottery look that is like whitewash and old and ancient. It just is so unbelievably cool. I'm just loving trying so many new products out. But then, to show you the flip side, we did use it as a bezel. Look at that. I put a piece of an old Berlitz uh, Italian book down in here, resined it, I stuck an I love you tag in there. Honestly, if I'd had more time, I would have done a better collage even than this. But this, I don't know, maybe it being plain is, is good because it shows you possibilities. But anyway, this is just filled up like a bezel, all done. So you kind of have a little secret heart there message. You flip it over and now you got this. So take that idea, guys, and run with it. See what you come up with. I've got a whole mess of ideas I want to do with this type of a thing. But I wanted to show you that, too, in this video. So um, we've got another one to do today, which is going to be on collaging um, with buttons and doing a cameo. So I'll sign off on this one, and we'll look forward to the next one. Thanks a lot.